What's up, taters? This is Tree from TreeofLogic.com. And oh my God, we got another case of virtue signaling going wrong. <sighs> I talked about this uh, on my new show, uh, which is aired every Monday and Thursday, anytime after 930. Okay. So if you're looking at this on Thursday or Monday, be sure to tune in. So I talked about this guy. This guy was at the time was driving on a suspended license. And of course the judge, you know, revoked his bond had basically told him to come and turn himself in uh, to jail. And then he had to wait for a court appearance. So the video went viral. For those of you who are not up to speed or you are not up to date in reference to this, I will go ahead and show you the whole thing in full context so that you can, so that you can see how this is going to end. All right. So, and I got to tell you everything in the middle. Okay. So check this out. Here we go. Mr. Hello. Harris, are you driving? Um, actually, I'm pulling into my doctor's office, actually. So, so I'll just give me one second. I'm parking right now. Hey. <laughs> You're stationary? I'm pulling in right now at the second. Yes, I am. All right. What are we doing? Uh, Your Honor, we are respectfully requesting an adjournment in this matter, um, up possibly two to four weeks if the court would allow. Uh oh. Look at okay. The so maybe I don't understand something. This is a driving while license suspended. That is correct, Your Honor. Um, and he was just driving, and he didn't have a license. Oh. Uh, is with the charges, Your Honor, yes. No, I'm looking at his yes. record. He doesn't have a license. He's suspended, and he's just driving. I don't even know why he would do that. So defendant's bond is revoked in this matter. Defendant is to turn himself into the Washington County Jail by 6 p.m. today. Failure to turn himself in will result in a bench warrant with no bond. <laughs> and so that facial expression right there is what went viral. So this went viral. And I was I, we clowned him. I, I clowned him. A lot of other people clowned him. And, you know, it went, it was just like, yep, typical, typical, typical. Good thing that the judge is black because, you know, they'll try to throw some R words in there somehow, okay? So, anyway, he decides to go do a press release with his lawyer, telling us, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. This is hilarious, okay? So, he does this. And just in case you guys didn't see this, because the backlash that came from everybody who clowns him. Well, I'll show you that in a minute. Let's just go ahead. I want to keep everything in order so you see how we got to where we are right now. So check this interview out. This is his lawyer, and this is him after the video right here went viral, okay? Well, tonight, a man who became a meme after a viral court appearance in Ann Arbor is looking to set the record straight. Thank you so much for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 6. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Mike Duffy. People couldn't believe Corey Harris logged into the hearing for a charge of driving on a suspended license while he was actually driving. He was cited last October in Pittsfield Township. That now infamous hearing was just last month. Tonight, 7 News Detroit reporter Kimberly Craig tells us Harris believes he's paying an unfair price for an honest mistake. It has literally been pure OD hell. I've been assaulted. I've been followed. I've been laughed at. I've been ridiculed. I have been disrespected. Victim, 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 victim. Never taking any accountability. Never taking it. And white people ate this up. Okay, not all. Hashtag not all. Okay, some of y'all like, mm -hmm. some of y'all toot your lips up and like, mm -hmm. I don't believe it. But it was like, this was a perfect time for a lot of those on the left 
white ones. Some of the, oh, look at how evil you guys are. You just believe him. You need to owe him an apology. Look at what he said. We need to believe him and not the courts. Corey Harris is planning to appear back in an Ann Arbor courtroom Wednesday with a new defense attorney, Dion Webster Cox. My client doesn't want to go out here breaking the law. He's a law abiding citizen. So now that we know what's going on, we're taking the steps to go forward to correct the problem, to put him in a situation where his license is in proper order. Mr. Hello. Harris, are you driving? I'm actually, I'm pulling into my doctor's office, actually. By the way, and, and, and when someone asks you a direct question and you don't answer the question, you give an answer that's irrelevant to the question, <laughs> you know you're a bad person, okay? So if I'm at, or you're just a liar. So if it's clear that you're driving, the judge see you driving, and the judge ask you, are you driving, instead of you saying yes, okay? You can't say no, because it's obvious that you're driving. You got your seatbelt on, you got your phone pointing up to you, it's, you're clearly in the car, you have to say yes or no, okay? And you're saying nothing so that's another hint that you know this guy is is a pos so so i just give me one second i'm parking right now harris said he was driving to take his wife to the doctor because her medical condition was worsening wah, but when wah. the judge could see harris was driving during that virtual hearing for driving on a suspended driver's license harris's bond was revoked he spent two days in the washington county jail and the video spread across the internet like wildfire i don't even go on the on the um, internet any, anymore i deleted it my facebook my instagram twitter I, de I deleted everything harris said he had no idea he was driving on a suspended license back in october when he was first ticketed by pittsfield township police he thought the suspension that was tied to unpaid child support had been lifted two years ago what was your reaction when he told you so you have a suspended license i looked at him like you got to be joking because all of this was supposed to have been taken care of already Court records show a judge ordered that suspension lifted in January 2022, but a spokesperson for the Secretary of State said they never received a clearance from the friend of the court. No one from the friend of the court responded to my calls last week, but today a representative for Saginaw County's chief judge did respond and said the clearance was never sent to the Secretary of State because Harris did not pay the license clearance fee to their clerk's office. Never told me a thing. That's all they said was that they would be sending me some paperwork in the mail, and here it is, 2024. And I just received the paperwork that they were supposed to send me two years. By the way, this woman is a terrible lawyer. <laughs> she just ruined her reputation for this basketball American, okay? Just let that just, let that sit in. Ago. Friend of the court. Right. They never said you had to pay a fee or anything. No. Right now, he needs to go and go to the second, he has an appointment with the Secretary of State Thursday. Thursday. So Thursday, he's going, let's let's get this in order. In Southfield, Kimberly Craig, 7 News, Detroit. Okay, Kim, thank, okay. thank you. All right. Now, after this happened, right, I, I just want you to understand, after, after this show came on, then we come out with the, oh, I owe you an apology. I'm such a bad white person. Oh, here go, here go. Uh, I'm so, I can't believe Charlie, Penguin Zero, all right, I can't believe Charlie even fell for it. Look at what, we all owe him an apology, okay? Yo, when I saw Charlie upload this video, I'm like, dude, are three million views. Now let's see if he's gonna do an update on this, right? Yo, man, look, this is, look Good at oh my God, I can't believe that we are so a judgmental, blah, 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 blah. And of course, Philip DeFranco, all right? Everyone got it wrong. Huge Corey Harris update. And it's like, <laughs> I, listen, this is, there are so many videos I can show you, all right, of these lefties or apolitical people. Some of them, oh, you guys are so mean to the black man. How could you do this? You're so mad. Well, you got it wrong. You owe him an apology, blah, blah, blah. Well, turns out. Are you ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? It turned out that the man never had a license in the first place. <laughs> Michigan man whose court hearing for suspended license went viral never had a license. So uh, he never had a license. He knew he never had a license. He pretended he never had a license. But I want you to understand, not only did he not know he didn't have a license, but for him to have the balls to drive on a court hearing, <laughs> knowing you never.
have had a license and then play the victim afterwards is top tier didn't do behavior, man. Oh my God. So let's look at this right here. It gets better. Okay. It does have a happy ending. Not for him, but for all of y'all who thought that, oh my God, y'all, why y'all, y'all got egg on your face. Oh my God, why y'all didn't sit up here and wait to see the, the real information? You giving fake news, fake news. And here it is. He making all y'all look like clowns. Jeez, Louise, but this is this is the funniest part right here. So here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, watch this. New tonight, a shocking twist for the man who went viral for driving during a virtual court hearing for a suspended license. Corey Harris showed up in person at a Washtenaw County courthouse today, hoping to set the record straight and put this entire saga behind him. Instead, we're reporting on a brand new chapter. 7 News Detroit reporter Kimberly Craig has been keeping up with the twists and turns of this one. She was in court today as it all unfolded. Well, nothing went the way Corey Harris thought it was going to go in court today. The judge started off by slamming Corey Harris, saying he's never even had a valid driver's license. And the afternoon ended with Harris going to jail. The person that needed to be blamed is the person that he was staring at in the mirror. I love this judge. I love him. You know, say it's going to be judges like this that's going to keep idiots like Corey accountable. I don't really depend. I, I lost faith. And other, well, maybe a Latino, Hispanic judge, okay? But everybody else is like the 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 low expectations that they have, you know, saying for people like Corey, it's just mind-blowing. It just really blows my mind. So I like that this judge is no nonsense. He understood what happened, and he understands that, you know, Corey was just flat-out lying. He didn't do what he should have done. The judge came ready to set the record straight with Corey Harris, who has claimed that he thought the suspension on his driver's license. By the way, I'm sorry. D look at this. Trust me. <laughs> he might as well had a shirt that says, I didn't do nothing. Okay? Trust me, really? That's what your shirt says? The jokes write themselves, folks. Oh, my God. The suspension on his driver's license was removed two years ago. That court and its friend of the court did nothing wrong. Nothing his wrong. driving privileges were unsuspended in 2022. That required Mr. Harris to do something. He didn't do it. The judge said Harris never paid his clearance fees with the court or the secretary of state to lift the suspension. But that's not all. He has never had a Michigan license. <laughs> ever. We ever. asked Harris yesterday if he ever had a valid driver's license. He claimed he didn't remember. Do you ever recall having one? Having a driver's license? I knew I had a permit. I, I knew that. A, a driver's permit or? I, I believe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I can't say yes and I can't say no. And that's Let me tell you something. Every last one of us who is asked, do you have a driver's license? Were you ever issued a driver's license? Those of us who really had one or have one, we say yes. We don't go, uh, I remember having a, a driver's permit. But mind you, I want you to understand something. They never said anything about this in the original. Where is this? In his original, yeah, the same freaking uh, channel did not include that this clip right here. They didn't. Where, where is it? Where, hold on. They didn't include this clip in, in this clip. So you notice that fake news is doing fake news. Fake news. Channel Seven ABC selectively left that part out of this interview. Because what? They're painting a narrative. They sit up here and want to make him the victim instead of telling him the truth and putting him on blast. I, I can't say yes and I can't say no. And that's odd because the Pittsfield Township police officer and prosecutor said during that October traffic stop, Corey Harris knew what was up. At least twice during this traffic stop, he acknowledged to the officer that he did not have a valid license. Quote, unquote. Quote, actually, I don't have a valid license. Close quote. The question was, are you a valid driver? Quote, I am not. There was no error by anybody. It was a failure on the part of Mr. Harris to do 
certain things. Now, I grant you that sometimes that can be a complicated process, but it was certainly not anybody's fault that that didn't happen other than that wasn't paid. Then came the unexpected. He has a warrant for his arrest. Corey Harris was taken into custody for what appears to be a nine-year-old bench warrant out of Allen Park. So nine-year-old bench warrant? <laughs> Him wanting to play the system. Him wanting to sit up here and act like he a victim. A nine-year-old bench warrant, okay? For him not showing up for some other court case, I have no idea. He went to jail for that, all right? So this is what I said. This, what a wonderful ending. What a happy, happy, happy ending. And this is what he gets. Now, everybody who stood up here and virtue signal for this clown got a bunch of egg on their face. They eating a big old slice of humble pie. And this idiot got what's coming to him. Was I shocked? Absolutely. Did I want my client to walk in, then get escorted to the back? Absolutely. Y'all remember this woman, Dion Webster Cox. Look at that hyphenated. Lord and mercy. You know she on the left. All right. Do not hire her if you are living in her area, Detroit. Do not hire this woman. She did not do her due diligence. Okay. <laughs> she, didn't, she didn't even. She even checked to see if there was a pitch ward on. But then again, I don't know. I don't know if that's their. That's their. Uh, if that's the uh, lawyer's responsibility, to either way, dude, she sucks. We not. That was not the plan. The shocking thing about Ashley for a driving while license suspended that he didn't take care of. It should be something that a lesson for all of us. Handle your business. At the end of the day, handle your business. In Ann Arbor, Kimberly Craig, 7 News. Yeah, well, he could have handled his business by basically having a license and not showing up on a Zoom court call driving. How about that? What is going on with these people? Like, how are they thinking? Either way, I thought this was a funny video, and I haven't uploaded in a while, so I thought, like, this is a good thing to upload, so I decided to do it. So, yo, let me know how you guys feel about this in the comments below this video. Don't forget to give me a like, and if you are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. And remember, I stream anytime after 9.30 on Monday and Thursday. I'll see you then. Later, taters.